Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Broken Age. We last left off, we just got this uh, fruit juicer thing, shoehorn, whistle, knife-like object from Gus. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it, so let us continue this way to see if there are more things that we can do. Oh my god! Hey, hey! The grandpa! Wanna buy a cupcake? <gasps> the little sister! It's a fundraiser! Hey! A good cause. Tell him, Rocky. Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? Yeah, I want a cupcake. I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? Uh. Do I have money? Trade? How about a trade? I could give you something. Sorry, but there's only one good thing I learned from Harmony Lightbeard, and it's that I don't need objects. I need money. Money is an object. What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the Meat and Feast system. Yeah, cupcakes against lies. Cupcakes against lies, okay. I like cupcakes. I don't like lies. I'm sold. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer Maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes. Yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. I mean, you don't need to convince me. I already know, man. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question! Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. Right. You're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions. Until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions. Rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger. Until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Small victories. Where are your parents? I agree. Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the Maiden's Feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. Same thing. Alright, let's go over here. I see Chit is poking this old man. Uh, in the ass? Okay, old man. This time, you're going down. How'd you do that? He's badass. What's up, Grandpa? Say there. Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? You're just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Well, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. That'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a warrior. Yes, you are, Chit. Why are you beating up this little kid? Not teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. He begged me. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. Uh-huh. 
I don't think it's gonna be the other way around anytime soon, at least. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep, roasted them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. Dang, almost out of the red stuff. Only well, got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for a fella when we find him. Damn, I did not know that his cane was capable of producing frosting. I want a cane like that. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? Can't help it. I see a blank cupcake, just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me with fighting! Mm-hmm. Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go. Now that fellas inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog red in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. But I still need the cane. It's where I keep my frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier. I am. Oh. Sorry for the kick there, guys. I was uh, busy taking care of something in the house. Anyway, uh. I guess that's all we can do with him. Um, but I do have money now, so I guess we could probably, I don't know, give it to the little girls and get a cupcake? But what am I going to do with a cupcake? Hmm. Hey, hey! You want to buy a cupcake? Yes, I do, actually. Take this money. It's a fundraiser! Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? Pause. I got money. Great! I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone. So now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We're going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting! Nice. Alright, uh... Yes. Okay. I guess that's all we can do over here. Um, I remember Rocky, or maybe the other little girl, mentioning that the mom was comforting someone. So I guess that means that she's down here. So we should probably go talk to the mom. See what she has to say. Yep, just as I thought. Mm. Hello, Mother of Vela. <clears throat> what happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? Mm. I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. Then no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. True story. What exactly is a Maiden's Feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. Hey, don't worry. She's fine. So, Maiden's Feasts are bad, then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. <laughs> oh, man. She can be everybody's mom. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. 
You are not. Then why didn't Magchatra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Uh, right. Let's go with the second option. Maybe he tried to get you, but something came up. Um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Fixing spaceships? Fixing spaceships? Hopefully. No, we don't have many of those around here. Swinging. Swinging? You making fun of me? No. Algebra? Algebra. Nope. Not part of maiden's training. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Wow. Um, make me something. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Yes. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting. Yes, you could. All right. Uh, do I have material and pattern such things? Do, do is this? What about this? So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie, and we're good to go. It's not a. Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Now, what can I use for the material? I'm like racking my brain here, but I can't really think of anything. Wouldn't I just need like the same kind of radiation ma proof material thing? Maybe? No? Uh, whew. okay. Maybe there's something more I can do with these two, or maybe there's something I can do with... Can I, can I pick Jesse's egg? Possibly? Let me go try, try that. that with a filled kind. Better Let's not here. Come on. Let's get up here. Come on. There we go. Alright, let me try to pick the egg. I wonder what would happen if I carefully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course. But just into the outer layer of the shell. It's working. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh... It works! Oh my god, it's so close. cute. I better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. Can I talk to you now? Or. Oh hey, can I grab that eggshell? I totally knew that little bird was ready to hatch. That's why I gave it a little help. I totally knew that little bird was ready to hatch. Yes, you That's did, Shay. Alright, let's collect this eggshell crap. Now look at that. But what can I do with this? Hmm. Is this the material I need to do the thing with the thing? I, I, I highly doubt that she could probably sew eggshells, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You all are probably thinking like, what are you doing, idiot? The answer is so obvious, but obviously like, I'm an idiot today, so. I don't so. think I wanna grind in the eggshell onto that. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Dang it! Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Oh boy. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Sorry for the cut there, guys. Um, I really wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing, but... I don't know. I was just kind of like sitting here thinking. Uh, I tried... Pretty much everything exhausted all my options, and I really don't think there's anything more that we can do up here. I think I missed something down 
probably by Curtis's house or something. So we're just gonna go ahead and go down there. <laughs> I must have missed something. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh yeah, I lost the sun somehow. Yeah, me too. Hmm. So I think, can I can I take this cat? Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. Right. Nice. I know there's something I must have missed. Oh, oh, hold on. Can I click this? Is there something in here? The red thing's up. Must mean something's in here, right? There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. Hmm. I guess there's something we can do with that. Um, let's see. I'm not really sure who I would show that to, though. <laughs> Stop mumbling to yourself, tree. God, you're so annoying. All right. So, is there any way that I could possibly use this snake somewhere? Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I think I got this. I, th I think I understand what must be done. something caught in your throat oh. hey knock that off mr. huggy back to your tree mug mug chatra struck down by the dead eye god only to rise again this maiden's feast was a disaster I'm never gonna be mayor now relax man jeez it's it's fine excuse me huh feeling better a little but I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Where did Mog Chakra go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the Plague Dam. Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole East Coast. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Marshal Doom. Who are you? I'm Shay, from Laruna. Laruna? You're from the ancient lost city far beyond the Plague Dam? Huh. Well, that's not exactly how it was described to me. Do you know anything about electronics? Do you? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for elections? Mm hmm. Okay, you know nothing. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic piper cam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. Made out of sand. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. You go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, we've got even more items now. One of which is this sand made thing that I'm sure is not going to work. Hey, we can try anyway. 
But yeah, I think that's enough for this episode. We'll be back with more Broken Age soon. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, stay swell. Can you hold me?